Well, hello, beauties. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing well and enjoyed your days up wherever you may be. I know today was a very busy day and it was a great way to come home, spend time with your family, get your got my son off to bed, and now I'm ready to talk all things beauty with you guys. Well, I know like you guys, I watch um, YouTube videos too, and I love this time of year because everybody shares their beauty favorites of 2013. So it's really nice to see what everybody else likes to use, what their favorite skincare items or beauty item were. And so, because it gives me ideas personally of what things maybe I want to go out and try and see too. But um, with those videos, I was thinking, hmm, let me share with you all my top 10 most used item in beauty in 2013. So, with me out talking too much more, let's get started. I always think skincare is very important. So, the very first thing I grabbed a lot in 2013 was the Clarisonic Mia. I've been using Clarisonic for about four, three, four years now, and I love it because if I don't use it, my skin would be a little bit more cakier, dead skin cells build up. Um, my skincare wouldn't work as as good as it does now and um, I totally recommend it because my skin feels very soft and smooth and you know deeply cleansed after wearing makeup on a day-to-day -day basis and I totally recommend if you haven't got a chance to experience this I recommend going out and trying this for yourself because you will see changes in your skin that you will truly love for years and years and years my husband even has his own he has my old Mia or Clarisonic and I got this one because I wanted a new colorful one and so I love this and um, yeah that's one of my very first beauty favorites of 2013 now with the Clarisonic you must marry it with a cleanser and my favorite cleanser for 2013 is the Shiseido and it's the Benefont's cream, extra creamy cleanser I am almost out of this bad boy I love this cleanser for me, I love cleansers that foam and lather. Believe me, I try the oil cleansers. I try them all. This has been my favorite for the whole year. The reason why I love it because it lathers so much. It almost feels like a men's shave cream when you just take a dot of the cleanser, add water, and lather it up. Oh my God, it's such a nice cleanse. And with using it with the Clarisonic, my skin feels clean, smooth, and not tight after using a cleanser. So if you're looking for a cleanser, this is part of Shiseido's anti a wrinkle resist line. Highly recommend this. Your skin will feel amazing and pretty much all skin types can use this too. So that was my favorite cleanser. Now you're probably going to be like, girl, why in the heck are you using this product, right? But I turned 37 this year and um, I finally decided to try um, Peter Thomas Roth and this is his Unwrinkled Turbo. And you're probably like, what in the heck do you need Unwrinkled Turbo for? You see what I'm doing with my face right now? <laughs> Throughout the day, I work beauty industry, and I am very passionate, and I'm very expressive. And you see what I'm doing right now? I do that very frequently when I talk, and I don't realize that. And this year, I started to notice, I started seeing horizontal lines on my forehead. And so I decided to give this a try back in March. And this is the same bottle I've been using back in March, which I'm shocked because it's lasting that long. It's a serum, and uh, I'm only using a little bit because this little guy costs a lot. But um, it's a nice, lightweight serum. You probably can't even see the dot I just put on. But I only use that little bit to put on my forehead lines. Mind you, you can use it in any areas you express a lot. But it has peptides, neuropeptides, and certain ingredients that really help plump up that overused muscle up there skin. And so a lot of my coworkers have been saying they've seen a lot of difference in my skin. And so um, this was definitely a grab because I'm trying to avoid the Botox thing. I don't really need it, but I don't want it. So this has been working for me so far. And so that was one item I love to use. And then to close up my skincare, because I feel skincare is very important. I see clients on a day-to-day -day basis. People come in and they're like, oh, my skin. Or oh my foundation looks cakey and it's not necessarily the foundation and many of you guys would agree that a lot of times it's just dead skin on the face and when you have dead skin on the face you put makeup on top of that the makeup accentuates it and makes it look cakey and you just really need a nice cleanse and a skincare regimen to keep the skin nice and smooth unless you have other skin conditions that you need to see a dermatologist for 
But um, the close on my skincare, I love, love Josie Marin's Argan Oil. This is my travel on my makeup, my beauty studio here, or my makeup station. And I have one in my bathroom, but um, I love this little guy because it's a vitamin E base, it's argan oil, and it's one of those moisturizers that sink right in my skin, and I don't have to worry about waiting for it to absorb before I put my makeup on. And this is a product you can use twice daily, but I notice when I use this, my skin is less oily, and my skin type is more combination. Um, it's oily here, and it's normal to dry on my cheek hair depending on the season. And I swear it balances my skin so my makeup wears beautifully throughout the day. So if you haven't got a chance to get into the oil trend, I definitely tr recommend trying out Josie Marin's Argan Oil. Now, to take a break whew, from the skincare, <laughs> that was a lot, right? I had to share one of my most used fragrances in 2013. I love, if you follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, I posted this bad boy a lot last year. It's just, um, it's Ralph Lauren, and it's the Pony 2 Fragrance for Women. I love it. It's eau de toilette, it's very light and clean, works beautifully for the summertime. If you like light, clean, um, how would I describe it? It's very fruity, flirty fragrance, just makes you feel free and feminine. I totally recommend you go to the nearest Sephora, or Ulta, Macy's, wherever you shop at, and go try this out. I truly love this, and it's been my favorite. And you can tell it's running, it's starting to run out. So yeah, these are my favorites. Because you know I do hate when I see favorite videos, and they're like, this is my favorite, and I use it all the time, and the bottle's full, and this is their only first bottle. That's not a favorite. <laughs> but this one truly is a favorite. Now we'll get into color. My favorite color eye palette of 2013, yes, it's going to sound cliche, but I really do love the Urban Decay Naked Palette, the original one. I know the Naked 3 is out, and yes, I do have one, and yes, I will film a review and a tutorial coming up soon, so definitely hang in there for that. But with that said, I couldn't really rate the Naked 3 as my beauty favorite of 2013 because it came out December 12th, 11th, and you only got a chance to use it for 20 days out of the month, or less than 20 days to be honest with you, so I couldn't really rate that, so it might be a 2014 thing. But the reason why I like this for my skin tone, or you know, if you're deeper skin toned, this palette has the most warm palette that complements our skin. You can tell this is my favorite because a lot of the colors in here has already hit pan. And I just love it because I tell you, this year my beauty routine has been very laid back. <laughs> been busy with work, family, my son, my husband, to the point where I've gotten kind of lazy with my beauty regimen this year and my makeup face thing. So on those days I have to be at work early, this palette's my go-to because I can do a smoky eye in like three minutes. I can do an everyday eye in like three minutes. <laughs> I can do any kind of eye really quickly. All the colors are here. I grab them and I go. So if you're like me and you're a busy working mom or just a working individual, awesome palette from Urban Decay and I love it. Um, for foundation. <laughs> like I said, I've been very lazy. <laughs> Beauty routine's been very minimal when it comes to foundation. Not a lot of beat faces this year. But um, really, my foundation routine consists of the Makeup Forever Pro Finish and the Kat Von D Concealer, uh, the Laka Tattoo Concealer. My color is 173 in the Pro Finish, and my color in the concealer is 34, and it's almost gone. Um, honestly, I've been very lazy. If I have any redness or breakouts, I will use a concealer in these areas of my face. And then I will follow up with my Pro Finish Powder. And this you can use wet or dry. But I love the powder. I'm starting to run out already. But I just need something quick, easy. Get up in the morning, put it on. I'm out the door, done. <laughs> and so those are my favorite complexion products. And then to close it out, my favorite lip and cheek products. I feel like I have to have a whole face for beauty favorites. For blush, I really, really loved. And I'm shocked I'm not out of this. There must be a lot of brush blush in this pan because I'm... I'm why am I not hitting pan yet? But I really love the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush and Tipsy. It's a really pretty, um, I want to say peachy coral color. It looks gorgeous on the skin. It's like a matte version of the Orgasm from NARS, but I really love this blush. 
And for those days, like I say, minimal makeup for Tasha in 2013. <laughs> I really like, and this one's pretty much gone, but I really like the um, Makeup Forever. And this is their Aqua Rouge lip color in number four. And this is their long wear waterproof lip colors. I love this one because there's some times I need my color to stretch me past lunch break because I'm, I've been that lazy in 2014 when it comes to touch ups. But this is the color. They still make this color, by the way. Um, I love the way it looks. It's very smooth. You put it on, it dries, and it dries extremely matte. So don't try to wear it by the self if you're not somebody that likes matte lip colors. You really want to go ahead and apply the clear lip gloss on the other end on top of it so it can wear comfortably for you throughout the day. Because this one truly is a long wear color. You will have to use a waterproof makeup remover to take it off. But um, those are my top 10 most grabbed items in 2014. So I hope you guys like my little, my little two cents of what I love to use in 2014. And you know what? I would truly love to know what your beauty favorites were of 2013. So if you make videos, please, I would love to watch your video, share a video response, let me know what your favorites were of 2013 so I can see, because maybe I might want to try something that you love and vice versa. Otherwise, until then, you guys stay well, and I will see you all in another video.